In this video, we will learn how to use the NRF Connect Bluetooth Low Energy app. We will use an NRF52840 dongle to scan and see the nearby Bluetooth Low Energy devices and then try to connect to a Thingy91 and the Thingy53 IoT prototyping platform. You can use the Nordic Semi Info Center to learn more about the NRF Connect Bluetooth Low Energy app. Here you can see that the RGB LED is blinking in red and we will see that this is an indication that it's in bootloader mode. Here in this list, you can see the supported devices. Our dongle is also listed here. And the introduction is giving you information about what you can do with this application. You'll see that the BLE Low Energy app is installed as part of the NRF Connect for Desktop. And you can see its details here. However, we'll see them in detail when we open the app. Now let's open the app from NRF Connect for Desktop. And let's go to the Select Device section. Our dongle is listed here as Open DFU Bootloader as we select the device. We see a pop-up window asking us to complete with programming the device. We click Yes to proceed. And in the lock screen, we can see the progress. As soon as the programming is finished, we will be seeing our dongle as NRF52 connectivity. You can browse the server setup and the About sections here in the server setup section. You can observe and change the properties of the device, such as device name, appearance, etc. You can see them here. Now we can go to the connection map and click on start scan button to see the devices in our surrounding. We can click on the details to see the address type, advertising type, etc. Now let's see the details and we are going to clear this list and let's take the thingy 91 out of its box and turn it on on the device we have the environment sensor firmware running which is sending the temperature pressure humidity and air quality values through nordic uart service So now let's click on start scan once again. Now we can see the details and we can see our thingy 91 UART in the list. And we can click on connect. We will see this connection in the connection map and we can see the UART over BLE in the thingy 91. You should also pay attention that while our dongle is shown as adapter, the thing is shown as peripheral. In the Thingy 91's window, we can click on the toggle notifications. Right here, this button. And we'll start receiving the data that the thing is sending. It's also recorded in the application log. However, the data here is not decoded. What we see here is actually hex values of the ASCII characters. And the first characters are capital T, colon, space, 26.43, which is the temperature value in Celsius. and the rest are the other values. Now let's get our Thingy53 and try to connect to it with our dongle. The device has the Edge Impulse firmware installed in it. However, since I had loaded a custom firmware before in which I tried to classify TV programs by using the color sensor, there was a problem with the connection. Let's see if I'll experience this problem again. Now the device is on and we can try to connect to it. It's listed here as Edge Impulse. Let's click on Connect. And as soon as we click on connect, we can see that the connection is created and then it's disconnected with the message BLE HCI connection failed to be established. Here, HCI stands for host controller interface. And we can see the details of it in this log. 